morning traders and this is your DAX daily review using the Bill Williams theory. Now the we ended up with the green bar but we have also come up to test a breakout. Now we'll see that breakout on the lower time frames. So you know, trend is still up so uh, the, the trade was uh, looking for longs and then to see where it comes to. It's just that we didn't bounce off a level. I would have expected us to come down to some sort of a level. Now if I put my daily levels in and then there's one more here. All I'm doing is I'm just taking off the daily fractals here and uh, then there's another one here. Okay then we're going to have a look at the lower time frame just to see what's going on. So every every fractal, remember what I say, every tail tells a story. So every fractal is a level. Now if we Drill down to four hour. You'll see first four hour we had an indecision and then we had a pin bar, and that was your your signal that the buyers were here. Okay, wasn't quite off a level, so you can see I've got the daily levels now. If I adjust this to the four hour levels, we can see there's my pin bar there. Oh, sorry, there's my um, fractal. There's my other inside fractal. So those are my two levels that I'd be looking for. And we didn't quite, we didn't quite get there. Um, be that as it may, we we did rally. Now, the big question here is whether we are retesting the breakout of the alligator and we're going to move to the downside, or if we're just going to continue to the upside. Okay. So, I would like to see some kind of a. Um, A, a retest of a breakout, but we don't really. I mean, we've broken, we've basically broken through the breakout. We're pretty close to the gap. So, what I'm going to do is just use this one here. So, there's a, a swing low, what you could call a breakout. There's another breakout I'm going to show you now. And then we have this uh, gap at the moment. Now, the other breakout that I'm referring to. Is pretty much going to be that. Okay, so that takes us all the way back up to this area here. Um, if I drill down, we may get a bit of a better picture, but uh, not really, I suppose. You know, we've gone through the alligator, alligator starting to turn up on the hour, so you know, are we going to continue up? Very distinct possibility. Um, all the sellers are going to be waiting somewhere here to push us down again. Okay, so a little bit confusing at the moment. I'm not. But yeah, it, the, the geopolitical noise that's going on at the moment is affecting this in a manner which I really wouldn't expect. So I would have expected with the, the tariffs. The trade tariffs being increased likely were for the market to to stay in this area or just meander up and then pull down, and then we had another confirmation of the tariffs last night at the close, and um, the U.S. markets lost a bit of their gains just after the close because there was another tweet. Well, it wasn't a tweet; it was actually a confirmation from some other people coming out that they will be implementing the tariffs. So yeah. Um, your guess is as good as mine at the moment when it comes to the political interference, but um, I think for me right now, we're, we're very much in a 50-50 zone. And the problem that I've got with this is we're talking about you know, 300, 300 point um, variance. So this gap is 300 points. And normally when you get a gap like this, the market doesn't rally up and, and close it. You know, we moved down for a couple of days before closing it. So I'm kind of at a loss right now. As a result, I think I'm just going to stay out of this and uh, I'm going to take some time off. So I'll be back on the videos next week. But for now, for the remainder of this week, I think I'm just going to close the charts and uh, wait for this chaos to settle before I can see something. I mean, this uh, ranging here has been chaos for the last couple of days, and then we get some volatility, but the volatility is actually meaningless at the moment. So you, know, you could burn yourself quite horribly if you actually jumped in on the shorts here, expecting this to move down. 
or you could also burn yourself expecting this trend to continue to the upside so but there's no structure that's forming so you know, for me I'd rather just back off out of it and just wait okay so if you are looking at things what you need to do I think is pay attention to your your levels you can see this level was respected for what uh, an hour before railing again um, and let's just have a look at what the the futures market is doing the DAX futures market is down half percent 12 to 7 7 12 to 7 7 is quite far down go to 20 off to 5 12 to 7 7 5 so at the moment we're sitting here on the alligator of the half hour okay so this could be a double top okay um, no it doesn't look like a double top but in my eyes it's a double top so this could be a double top uh, what we're looking for is a break below uh, 12777 we can get below 1277 I'd like to see a break below a retest of it and then start moving to the downside that may be an opportunity for a short um, but the stop is already 70 points so uh, quite a high risk and uh, there's no guarantee on the reward either okay so it's really the, there's no clear direction at the moment of whether we are short or or long and this move here is way too big for me I mean, that's a 200 point move okay so in other words what I'm getting at is a retest would be here and then we start moving down but the confirmation is going to be below this fractional a break of this fracture will be a move to the downside but at 200 points that's quite substantial okay so anyway um, I'm staying out of this uh, we could head all the way back up and close this gap or alternatively this could hold and we move to the downside so you're going to have to just keep your wits about you if you're going to trade this thing wait for breakouts wait for retests of those breakouts when you get a retest confirmation then take the trade okay so this one was the first opportunity but then we got through it so what we want to see is a second attempt at a level and another failure that's going to give you the confidence to get in for um, the sh long or the short okay but for me I'm staying out of it and I will be back next week anyway guys enjoy the rest of your day and uh, I'll catch you later cheers for now